We just need Jennifer. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. Maybe. We don't have Jennifer yet. After these messages, we'll be right back. <laughs> don't touch that remote. I hope I hope that's not. I don't even have a remote. Yeah, I, I hope that's not too old school to say. Whoa, there was just some crazy weird sound effect from you. Are you there, Jean-Marc? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Oh, that was Jennifer my music for the Google Realm Hangout of Discord. Plugin. Yeah, that was the Realm of Discord music there. All right, Jennifer is getting Google Hangout set up, so... I'm pretty sure we were all skipping our turn. That was the idea, right? Uh, yeah, getting rid of it would be nice. All right, I'm just gonna do that so we move things along. Okay, and Jennifer will agree. Jennifer is joining the call. Whoa, there she is. <laughs> Whoa, all right. All right, so we're all skipping our turn to save ourselves from the self-destruct sequence. Uh, and you agreed to it, just so you know. <laughs> yeah. What? I took your silence you, as agreeing. Yeah, you agreed to our plan. Okay. Do you guys see my screen? Yes. Yes. So, so, well, okay. sort of. I, I see want it when to lock John it there, but talking. every time Jennifer speaks, it switches to her. Yeah. What if I, I click the thing that says I'm presenting to everyone? Does that make it better? Um, say something, John. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay. Awesome. All right. That works. All right. Sorry, Internet, folks. Internet, activate. Okay, back to our game. Fire in the biosphere. The advantages oh, okay. of doing things live. This tries to deal damage to everyone. We have a few okay, cards where... Also... Yeah. We have a few places we shortcut this when there's no damage and it skips it, but... So we're, we have to fix up some more of those spots, I think. Yeah, there's nothing that... Because in this case, it would have to go ahead and try and deal damage to everyone and find out that it can't in right. order to... Yeah, because it's making things immune to damage as opposed to nothing can deal damage. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, and I think we probably don't care about destroying cards because unless you actually want to destroy a card for some reason... <laughs> Well, I don't want to take that fire damage. I kind of wish I did, because then I could deal damage. But well. all right, we have a voodoo pin. He can he can still play things. Uh, it ends up on tempest. The cursed acolyte is once again futile. Yay! <laughs> no runway damage. All right. No impale damage. Are we going to continue to skip? Um, I'm willing to skip. Yeah, I'm okay with skipping. Okay. Skip, skip, skip all our turns. Skip, skip. <laughs> so now it's at... I think right, I don't so have don't to need... skip my turn. Nope. Probably better you don't. Yeah. If you don't so have. I'm gonna say and there are no. lots of things you can play. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna skip for meteor storm. I think, or should I? Yeah. Um, I'd rather it's better have if it... I do because then tempest and you can deal damage. Yeah. Uh, rather than yeah, letting the floodgates open for them first. All right, I will play something else, like. Combat stance, I think. That's a good play. And then I can do infrared eyepiece and maybe get a grappling hook. Oh, vast following. How about not that? I guess there's no cultists and relics, but then it also plays the top card of the villain deck. Uh, we have a chosen disciple that puts out a zombie card and deals damage. Yeah, I think Vast Following is worse because it actually plays another card, right? So, Which could be anything. 
Although we haven't yeah. even seen his relics yet. I mean, I guess well, because... We saw one and put it on the oh, bottom. No. <laughs> but, yeah, but... Um, yeah, Gl Gloomweaver doesn't really know what his strategy is. All right. Yeah. I'm putting yeah, I'm Chosen Disciple on the top. And then I will take more damage reduction. Because, and I still yes. don't have a grappling hook. Yay, we survived the self-destruct sequence. Well, I should have put I... out Dominion, except that's not for my deck. <laughs> Absolute zinion. Uh, I will discard cards because I have a whole bunch of mega computers that I don't want. Uh, yeah. I already have utility belt, so I can discard that. And yeah, mega computer. And that gets rid of that. And another meteor storm. <laughs> oh, we wonderful. really should have kept that flash flood. <laughs> hey, Gloomweaver, skip your turn. <laughs> no. No. I guess we knew that would happen when we got rid of the flash flood. Yeah, we knew the environment would just start messing with us. And yeah, we get a zombie and they try to deal damage. He's going to build up a zombie army with these meter storms. That's the trouble. Uh, so what do we want to do? Skip turns to get rid of them? Um, I mean, we're going to have to eventually. <laughs> yeah. Unless we get something to destroy it, but that hasn't been happening. So I'm, yeah, I'm fine with skipping. And then... At least for one of them. Yeah. Maybe do you want to... Uh, I don't know. You could potentially draw two cards. Jen might be not a bad idea. Yeah, I'm thinking it'd be really nice if I could get another flash flood or something useful. Um, I'm just gonna say stop because we can't deal damage. Or I could discard the. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. Because of the meteor storm. Um, it would be nice to draw some more cards. All right. For when I'm we able can, to do damage again. We can try one more round and hopefully another Meteor Stone doesn't come out. Ball Lightning. That's good. Okay. That's an ongoing that thing is, to destroy. Yeah, that is actually really nice. And Shielding Winds, which shielding can be wins is, Yeah, that's a nice card to have in play. Oh, and you discarded Ball Lightning. <laughs> because of Indigo Pin. Wow. Oh, wow. Right. Oh, wow. I'm also not going to skip my turn. We're just going to have Absolute Zero continue to skip his turn. <laughs> uh, Sunball still works, but it, does, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm but just so test. everyone knows, even if you don't deal damage with Stunball, uh, it still takes effect. Right. Yeah. Because that can, it's just, can matter. Yeah, that target doesn't have to be dealt damage. But Throat Jab. The target has to be dealt damage, so. Yeah. All right. Trust fund again. Looking for grappling hook. Not a grappling hook. Not grappling hook. Not grappling hook, but awesome. Not grappling hook. Wow. Grappling hook is in there somewhere. Uh, do I need all these stun bolts? <laughs> I don't need three <laughs> of them. Two of them is okay. Ah, uh, but they're not uh, limited, so... Yeah, but I can't use you that many powers. Three out. Uh, yeah, but we can hack the game. It's true, we can. <laughs> we we, we, we could. I'm going to use Infrared Eyepiece. And another Cursed Acolyte. Do we feel lucky? Or a zombie? Um, I feel like a zombie's less bad. Yeah. Generally. Yeah. Sorry, Ronway. Sorry, Ronway. There, there can be only one Ronway. Even yeah. though there's two. All right. Yeah. For so, those who don't know, if did we already say that he is the artwork? Yeah. I think you might have got disconnected when we were talking about it. Okay. Yeah. And I'm at minus six to the next damage. So the next time something tries to hit me for one, I got this, guys. Yay! Grappling hook. All right. So. If you want, I could get rid of that by playing it instead of skipping your turn. 
but we might want I'm, Campus to be. I'm always campus. happy with not having to stick my turn. Yes, there can be only one pair of Ronway's pants. <laughs> All right, we got another zombie I, servant. All right, so he's going to have a lot of stuff out that's going to do a lot of damage. Yes, can't deal damage or remain to damage. Go through all these. But. Wow. So these are actually going to be doing damage, potentially. All right. So, absolute zero. Do you want to skip your turn? Or no. do you want. No? Okay. Um, and I threw. What are you going to do if you say no yeah the only thing i could do was put out my cryo chamber or draw, draw two cards um neither of which i need feel like i need to do so why don't we just go ahead and skip the turn all right then tempest has a chance to do a bunch of damage yeah. tempest all right so uh, do you have a preferred damage type? So these guys are all doing melee. Yeah, melee. Uh, melee. Well, that sounds like a few infernal. votes for melee. This reduces damage dealt to zombies by one, so your squall won't hurt them, unfortunately. Ooh, that is unfortunate. And it increases damage oh. dealt to them by X. Oh, wow. That's, at least I'll be able to kill them with... Uh, I guess Chain Lightning will be able to kill them, or I can kill them with Throwing Knives, so there's that. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with Melee. Okay. Is the damage type to be immune to, or... Yeah, reduced. Reduced, not immune. And... Do you want to discard a card against Gloomweaver? <laughs> I'm thinking about discarding that other Vicious Cyclone. Yeah, it's limited, and... so can't hurt. Makes sense to And... Maybe I'll discard shielding winds also and okay. get some yeah, damage. Most, and most of the damage is less than five, but it could be a lot of it all at once. Right. Yeah. And we're gonna stop. Yeah, yeah, because it's not, it, we need to do some damage to Gloomweaver. Yeah. Well, that's a bunch. It'll be three total. Yeah. All right. Chain lightning. Chain lightning. Chain punching. Chain punching, yes. Oh, where to so, start? Yeah, yes, so the, there's lots of options here. The chat points out that if you... The cultists are going to bring back zombies when we kill yeah. them. Uh, he has two in his trash right now. Yeah, I wish we had that ball lightning. <laughs> right. It might, though. It might. Yeah, with, with like the amount of damage that the zombies are doing, it might make sense to kill them. Well, uh, for me to kill them with throwing knives, I think. Yeah. Um, because I can kill. Yeah, I can take out each yeah, of the zombies. Yeah, targeting computer, so that will increase. Yeah. There's also villainous weaponry is still in play too. Yes. Yeah. So many targets. So, yeah. What would you like well, to do? Get the chosen one! Although if I hit Villainous Weaponry now, I'll be able to kill it with Squall. Yes, that's prob probably not a bad idea. So I think I'd like to do that, and then I'll hit Chosen Disciple. Bam. All right, and you have a two damage left. The Crimson Pin that's going to hit you. The Crimson Pin would be kind of nice to get rid of. Okay. That's been out there for a while. Yeah, it really has. And then it's going to make you discard a card, the one that you draw. <laughs> the other pin. Oh, right. <laughs> It'll be that's the card I wanted. All right, so we can hit Villain's Weapon. I don't think the order is going to matter here. So let's do a choose for me after this. Yeah. I think it's... 
Yeah, I see some people who do uh, Let's Plays, and I don't know if they've just never tried the Choose For Me button, but... They never use it? Well, like, there are some people who just, yeah, just click everything individually. And I, I, I just want to tell them, like, you can just press that button there, but it's a, you know, it's a Let's Play, so I can't... <laughs> I can leave it as a comment, but I can't tell comment them. on the video. Yeah. <laughs> all right, look at all my stuff. So cool. All right, I'm going to play Oh, impromptu. and you have Impromptu Invention. Yeah, I don't even need Grappling Hook. Actually, I can use Grappling Hook to get rid of Strength of the Grave. That's probably going to be what I'm going to do. I got another Grappling Hook. Imagine that. Uh, so I can play a Razor Ordinance. You don't already have one in play? I don't. I have it in my hand. Okay. I thought you did for some reason. I have one, I have just about everything, but I don't have that. Uh, and so, yeah. This thing is increasing damage dealt by zombies by three right now, which is bad. Um, so I'm going to grappling hook it away because I don't like it. Goodbye. All right, and then let's see. I think I want to hit, get rid of this chosen disciple because she she's gonna put out a zombie. It's gonna put out a zombie right now because of it, but she's gonna put out a zombie on the villain turn anyways. So, and then do us damage. So I'm gonna hit her with throwing knives. And then here's another Sentinel's tidbit. Uh, the new zombie that comes out, I can also hit with throwing knives. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna take out a couple of these zombies. Um, though they're only gonna do one damage, you know, other bad things could come out, so. I'm gonna chip away at them. Yeah, because there's cards that increase the damage that the zombies deal. Yeah, if another one comes out, then it'll be a lot of damage, so. But for that, I'm gonna look at Infrared Eyepiece and see what he's gonna do. We have a, the familiar Ophidia the Deceiver. That's gonna deal the hero with the highest X toxic damage where X is three plus the number of voodoo pins. <laughs> But there's vast following is going to be bad because there's a bunch of cultists in there. So yeah, and then play the top card of the villain deck, which we don't want. So yeah, it's going to be the deceiver. There's only like yeah. one voodoo pin in play right now. So alrighty, Wraith is rocking it. Hey, this is going to kill the rest of the zombies. <laughs> nice. I didn't even have to kill I will them. gladly take fire damage. Both oh, times. Yeah. All right. Let's kill these zombies. All right. So you can actually kill the cursed acolyte. Um, Goodbye, Ronway. Or just send it back over to Gloomweaver. Uh, let's just hit these other things and then arrange our business. So I'm going to take... I'm at minus six to damage. <laughs> and so I guess we can hit the Cursed Acolyte and then it's going to hit absolute zero, which reacts. Two cold damage. Where would you like to send it? Um... Ooh. All three of them are good choices. Um, yeah, let's go for the uh, acolyte. Silver leaf. The wrong way. <laughs> All right, so we can destroy ongoing cards or take two more fire damage. Uh, I, I'll, I'll take it. Don't, yeah. Uh, Tempest, do you want to destroy an ongoing card? 
It would be. Do I? It would be I don't the have vicious any. cyclone. Oh, which, um, which you can I'm actually okay with use that right now. I, right? Yeah, I'm okay with destroying that since I don't have any cards. It's just card. Okay. And I have another copy of Combat Stance. Eh, yeah, I'll destroy it. I have 22 health. I'm fine. Skip. And you're gonna skip. Mm -hmm. You like fire damage. You. And we're gonna take out that cursed acolyte. Goodbye, Ronway. zombie came out so a good point was raised in the chat um inventory barrage would do a lot of damage oh yeah hey look i got hit i hit the zombie back and kill it bye zombie all right who wants to take four toxic damage i guess i can take it i will punch back Alright, we've got Gloom Weaver on the rope. So yeah, so you got the Impale. <laughs> That's been doing pretty good the whole game. No, it's um, most of the time it's been not able to do damage. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six equipment cards. That's going to be 12 damage. If we do that. That depends on what you guys do. Whether we can get a download, um, I guess. Frostbound Rain. And what is it? And then you could hit for fire. Are you going to send it back to Gloomweaver? Gloomy again, yeah. Alright, let's check the lightning bolt. You've dealt eight cold damage this turn. Important. If you're going to use Thermal Shockwave. Yeah. What would you like to do? Um, I will hit all three of those. If you do that, you'll die. <laughs> so you've done eight, and you have ten health. Right. So you can hit one safely, or yourself and two right yes good thing you uh calculated that um all right yeah myself and then actually i might skip the rest actually no one else yeah i don't want to I think if you hit Gloomy with this and the reaction, I'll be able to inventory barrage and we'll be able to win. You can do it. If you, it's up to you, though. Okay. I trust you. You trust me? I trust you. <laughs> I'll never do you wrong, Jean-Marc. Uh, That's good to know. I'm going to skip the rest, though. You sure? You get one more damage. No! <laughs> you'll be at one, you'll be fine! <laughs> Nothing can go wrong I've heard with you one. I did that before and then I ended up getting flipped, so. <laughs> now you have two. It's not that different. Gloomweaver? <laughs> yep. Alright, I can kill him right now. He has 12 health. So, anything you, you want to do. Have, have his say, though. His bonus. Uh. What damage type would you like? Um, radiant? Radiant, yes. Radiant. And, um... You don't have any cards. I don't have any cards, but I can use my power. Yep. And then you'll draw a card and discard it immediately. <laughs> yes. 
We'll get some radiant damage. It's the only way we're getting radiant damage in this yeah, game. So he'll do three radiant damage to Gloomweaver. So. so Gloomweaver's down to nine. Actually, don't have to use. Oh, cleansing downpour. That would have been nice for Jean Marc. <laughs> I don't have to use inventory barrage. I could do it another way if I wanted to. But inventory barrage is pretty sweet, so I'm gonna go. Yeah, ahead it's that. like one of those like you pretty much always use it as a finisher. Yeah. Or like if you know like all your equipment cards are gonna get destroyed by yeah. you know Akash Buta or someone. Uh, so yeah. yeah, so this card destroy all your equipment cards and oh. deal one target twice that much damage. So that's pretty sweet. All right, we can choose the order if we want, but I can just go choose for me in this case. I was playing a game yesterday where the top of the trash order mattered a whole lot. Uh, due to Omnitron 4 environment. So, all right, 12 damage. Not, Goodbye, not the app, Just to clarify, he meant like the tabletop. Oh yeah, tabletop game. But we'll get to Omnitron 4 eventually. There we go. Poor Gloomweaver. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't have seem too yet. upset about it. <laughs> he's, 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 he's been he's been very stoic the entire game. He's unfazed by anything we're doing. Cool. Eleven rounds taken, fifty-four turns, and twenty-nine cards played, courtesy of none left, who is a good tracker of such things. All right, I'm not going to share a screenshot yet because we don't have the artwork. Uh, but there you go. You've got your gameplay uh, preview of Gloomweaver. Uh, awesome. And, of course, uh, we don't have their music yet, but that will be coming as well. You almost were in time with the music that you can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so so stay tuned for future streams while we're, we're going to be previewing uh, more Infernal Relic stuff. We've got Apostate coming up. We've got the Ennead. We've got Akash Buta. They're not in here just yet, but they are actually all the all the programming for all the new decks is uh, in testing right now. So uh, that's coming on really well. Yeah, Jennifer and I just finished them up today. Yep. Yeah, so, so we're getting those to our uh, intrepid mega computer alpha testers and to our beta testers soon as well. So are those those are are those both in the mega computer already? The ones we did today, no. Okay, nope. they'll be coming soon. Yeah, we yeah. we we like to t play test it once ourselves first because sometimes there's like an obvious, really the bonkers bug that just yeah, like it's, you it's can't good to beat Ambuscade. He lives forever. For instance, <laughs> <laughs> was yeah. <not> happen. <laughs> um, yeah, and so there's also new heroes in the expansion that are coming. The Argent Adept, who is pretty awesome, and Nightmist. Yeah, he's amazing. And Nightmist, so. who looks like she might have a variant. What? Nothing to see what? here. Nothing to see here. We need sensor bars to cover over the variant bars. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've also got uh, new environments coming up Realm of Discord which is as crazy as you can imagine Jennifer's been working on the background for that I guess I could click on it I was going to say you could click on it and then they could and see and we could get a little bit of idea of what's going on back there and then we also have the Tomb of Anubis which is a pretty cool environment so those are going to be previewed soon too so uh, all kinds of cool content. Uh, Infernal Rocks is a really cool expansion, so we're looking forward to showing you guys all that. I definitely like it. So. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty neat. All right, Do we I have so, questions. Yeah, we could take a few questions while we are here. I'm going to just turn the music down a bit. Um, do we have a decision on how the Ennead will appear yet, is a question. 
<laughs> uh, we have not. Where is that question? Oh, I guess you, you read me the question. Uh, we haven't made any final decisions on that, but we are uh, definitely planning to to do something cool with that, like we've done with the operative and the chairman. There's going to be something special for the Enyad. So, indeed. Yeah, it won't just be a static. Image. Yeah, it won't be just one graphic. It will sort of be based on what's going on. We just have to. We haven't figured out the the exact. Um, manifestation of that can we persuade you to add pants to the cursed acolyte doesn't he have pants well it doesn't show his bottom half so let's pull up that card and take a look at it yeah oh well thank you uh S- i don't want to say the name right estalindus that sounds yeah. right to me yep uh cursed acolyte yeah his Pants are down there, off the frame. So, unless he shows up in any other cards, that'd be a good question for Adam. Um, tell him that we have some requests for Kirstek Light with pants. <laughs> well, this conversation has come up like the past <laughs> three weeks. Um, it's obviously very important <laughs> to the people in the chat. <laughs> uh, question: left- Is it hard being oh. so awesome, John? You want to take this? <laughs> Uh, it's pretty tough. It's a lot to lot to live up to. Uh, None left asks if you could add a card, change a card, or change a hero's power. What would it be, and why, Jennifer? Um. Well, you know something I thought of tonight when we were playing against Gloomweaver is that it'd be pretty cool if you could turn the heroes into zombies, the same way that um, Plague Rat can infect the heroes. Mm-hmm. Or like <laughs> like Marvel zombies, but Sentinel zombies. Yes, then we could have like you know zombie <laughs> legacy, <laughs> kind of kind of kind of neat. Cool. So you know what they could also do is um, they could combine the idea of Gloomweaver and Spite and all the uh, victims that Spite uh, killed come back as zombies and attack him uh, on the hero side, like a combined play. Yeah. Kind of thing. Zombies, yeah, multi zombies of the the multiverse. (laughs) (laughs) Well, there is uh, in the challenge mode for um, there's a challenge mode for the tabletop game that we will probably add at some point. Um, If you the challenge mode for the promos of Gloomweaver, Skinwalker, and Spite, Agent of Gloom, you have to fight Spite. and then win and when you win you leave everything as it is everyone's hit points and stuff is all as it is and then you just put gloomweaver in at full health and start a new game but you're already like damaged a whole bunch (laughs) so there's an interesting sort of campaign mode there yeah it doesn't really interact as much as you said but there's something there Mm -hmm. yeah yeah, I think I think in general I would probably change Spite's backside to not be so loopy. Um, right. So if he still I were gets to play cards, making, right? yeah, I, I feel like it's sort of whatever you start doing on his backside, that sort of ends up being what you always do because the environment can't really do much because he keeps destroying it, um, and then he doesn't play any more cards because he's. You know, that, that's not something he does. And I, I feel like it can be kind of, um, it's a lot less dynamic on his backside than it is on his front. So that's probably what I would reevaluate. Hello. You, so you want, you want Spite to have more dynamic backside? <laughs> <laughs> so you're um, saying Spite is too easy to implement. <laughs> yeah, actually, there was a. Um, there was a bug reported that you couldn't um, destroy uh, apostate with uh, destroy a target with two or less HP card, and I fixed the bug, which title was um, now you can sucker punch apostate's backside, um, <laughs> and then I. Uh, let's see what other <laughs> questions. Um... We had a question about if we're going to be expanding beta testing. Uh, yeah, we yeah, are, yeah, we're we're planning that, so uh, that'll be soon. We don't have a exact date or anything, but keep an eye on our Facebook and Twitter and 
blog and we'll announce it. So, and it won't be like you have to rush in. Uh, we'll, we'll accept, we'll be pr uh, calling for beta testers and open, have a form open for probably, you know, a few days or a week. So, uh, and then we'll take a look and, and select some peoples. That's pretty much F the answer. It's been an FPS zombies of the multiverse game. That sounds cool. That does sound really cool. Uh, Bessie Rocks 12 asks a good question for Jean-Marc and Jennifer. Do the character variants require a lot of changes to the builds or is it a simple process? I think it depends on the character. Um, <laughs> Jean-Marc. So, I know you're having some um, fun right now with a character variant. Yeah, so usually the, um, like the hero variants aren't usually too big of a deal. Um, because, you know, it's usually just a change to power. Hit points is trivial. It's literally just a number. Uh, and then the uh, the incapacitated side is usually normal stuff. So, um, But the, uh, the villains um, can actually change so dramatically that they can become more complicated than the original one. Um, right. Well, for instance, variant. like... Yeah, Spite's variant, uh, Mad Bomber Blade, I think we had to <coughs> implement the idea of indestructible, which was coming, but we had to do it earlier than we would have. Yeah. Right. Yeah, like I was doing Spike today and thinking that we had already finished all the stuff we needed to add to the engine. And then he has this idea of that his drug cards can all be in the play area, but they can flip face up, play, face down. And, you know, that affects when they are and aren't in play in a way that the engine doesn't yet um, acknowledge. So, um, so yeah, the, the variants can obviously change the yeah. game. The game and uh, the program quite a bit. And that's something Wager Master is going to have as well, is that idea of cards that are out there and face down. Right, yeah. It just came a lot sooner than I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so most of the time, that's not crazy, but sometimes crazy is the answer. Yep. Um, any other questions that you want to answer? Favorite cards mechanically. It's hard to say one card because I feel like a deck has to work mechanically for it to make sense. Um, yeah, I like. I like the ammo drop and dominion. <laughs> ammo, yeah, those are great. Uh, I like how the yeah. chairman's deck works mechanically. How the cards flow between the trash and the deck and in play. I think that's well, really well put together. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And of course, as I mentioned, pretty much every time I'm here, um, the awesome adept uh, has mm. a really cool network of things where he's like, OK, so my play card is to use a power to play a card to use two to use an instrument to perform and accompany this, to play this, to accompany that, to, and then it's like, oh, now it's my use power phase. And it's just really cool how much you can get done with him in one turn, even though, um, you know, and he's, he's fully support. So like, I mean, he can deal damage, but it's pretty minimal. Um, but the amount that he can buff his team uh, on one turn is pretty cool. One thing I'm really noticing with the Argent Adept is uh, most of his stuff is like, you must do this thing. And so if you're not careful, you can make yourself do things you don't want to do. <laughs> like play an right. instrument that makes you play a melody that destroys ongoing cards and there's only hero ones. It's like, well, you can't do that. Well, you, can, you, like, you, know, you have to sometimes sacrifice stuff in order to do the thing you want. Um, right or just don't do it um, mm -hmm. but whereas most you know most effects and most decks are like you may do such and such but um, he is a lot more like you have to do this if you choose to do, if you choose to play this instrument you have to do this thing <laughs> right um, who do you think will be the toughest to code <laughs> uh, <laughs> guys and Captain Cosmic are definitely up there yeah 
Yeah, Captain Cosmic, yeah. I don't know if he's going to be difficult to code particularly, but the implications of Captain Cosmic are enormous. Um, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> he has a card that lets you deal or uh, use a power when it gets dealt damage, which basically means powers can get used at any time, uh, which is a huge change. I mean, it's not a change, but it's a, a huge change uh area where uh weird interactions and bugs can creep in and we've seen yeah, that, in the and past, that right yeah and that's pretty much exactly what i meant is i mean sometimes yeah our cards are not hard to code but they open up a whole you know jug of bugs um that w were not possible before and uh you know, it'd be nice to just change it so that that couldn't happen, but then that wouldn't make it fun or the right thing. Yeah, so we have to we have to abide by uh, Christopher's uh, master plans. So, um, hmm. but this sort of thing is because you know has happened before, where you know there was a point where now stuff can happen when a card gets played, like in reaction to that happening, and that was new. Right, so there's other other situations that have come up in the past where we had to, you know, make sure that uh, timing issues don't cause problems. So this is it's going to be similar to that, but probably bigger. Yep. Who do you think will be more buggy, Argent Adept or Captain Cosmic? Captain Cosmic. Yeah, I think Captain Cosmic. Yeah, I think Argent Adept is working pretty all right. Yeah already so at least so there's a few issues we found but uh he doesn't the main thing is he doesn't like he doesn't change when things can happen right mm -hmm. necessarily yeah, he's not taking turns in between everyone else's turns yeah like, and guys, guys being <laughs> able to steal other powers is going to be really bonkers too yeah guys is bonkers <laughs> and major master though guys is more bonkers than major master yeah, so, so lots so of saving the stuff best is ahead. for last, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's just mini pack three. <laughs> well, Captain Cosmic is ahead of that. Yeah. Cool. All right. I think that's probably um, good for today. Um, yeah. Thanks for joining uh, Jean Marc and Jennifer. Always welcome, of course, as part of the team on the streams uh and so next week uh we will be back uh most likely jeremy and i and who knows special guests maybe more teammates maybe we'll have more secrets who knows i'm just gonna stop talking now and say good night everyone good night good night everyone and thanks for hanging in with us um we had, with our technical difficulties tonight yes Thank you for yeah, that. More than uh, usual, maybe but... Jeremy can edit them out. He probably won't. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, it's probably not worth it. All right.